Oh, they've been Man. sawing off some horns ever since October 9th. Alabama and AM. Tide comes roaring back. Ja'Cory Book blocks it. King Makuta touchdown. But the ensuing kickoff. Devon A chain off a the chain. A chain. 10 1 100 meter guy. World class speed. Yeah, he's and he's a football class. player. He's, he's not a track guy playing football. He's a football he's player class. that runs track. And he's also a, he's also a track all American. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. After, look at that. Yeah. Calzada yeah. gets buckled. Wow, throwing makes the big throw. Best game is he, he's is he gone? By far. Is he no, going to come he, back? He, he comes, comes back. back. He set up Seth. That's a bad game. Oh, oh. oh. came back. Oh. Oh. Some oh. nights it's oh. meant to be, meant to be for the Aggies, and they haven't looked back since getting that momentum. Two seconds are left. Tied at 38. Is down. It is up. And the fight, Texas Aggies, take down the top ranked tied. The celebration is on at Kyle Field. When against Alabama, we really found ourselves as a team. We believed in each other. It definitely just helped our confidence and it rose. We were trying to see where we at, especially after those two games lost. It allowed us to understand how we prepared for the game, the way we played the game. You have a blueprint for the way you want to do things. Better preparation, better focus throughout the week of practice. I feel like this team is um, connecting. We're as one. We can do anything we want to. It doesn't matter if it is if we're going to do it. When we do it, you see the outcome. This is a really confident Aggie team that comes into Vault Hemingway. And when they lock the vault, they won't be scared. They're wearing Aggie maroon. Now, this is our, these are the scenarios in the SEC West. Bama controls its destiny, but still a trip to Auburn coming. AM needs an Alabama loss. Much more complicated for the Tigers and for Ole Miss. But Desmond, the biggest thing here is how have the Aggies changed since they owned Alabama that night? <laughs> well, I tell you what, just like the young men said, they gained a lot of confidence after that game. Don't forget, Zach Calzada, he wasn't the starter. He was the backup quarterback, and he came in there and played the game of his life, and he sent a signal to his teammates, hey, guys, I'm your guy. We can do this. And then the offensive line, don't forget, too, they were kind of – De dealing with a lot of injuries, moving guys around. Now, David, I think they have some continuities. I think those are some of the things that have changed. Well, I mean, Ole Miss, think about this crowd right here. They, they, they think they can win. Well, hold on. You might want to wait a second. <laughs> Ole, Miss, <laughs> Ole, Miss, <laughs> Ole Miss fans think they can beat Alabama. A&M knows they can beat Alabama. They did it. They finally did something about it. When you do something about it, your confidence goes through the roof. You listen to your coaches a little bit more. So yeah. they believe in Jimbo now. That message he's been preaching the offseason, writing that big check, and then his players going out and cashing it. Bro, confidence. And you have to put it in perspective. They lost a four-year starting quarterback in Kellen Mond. They lost four of the five offensive linemen that was a strength of their team. They come into this year. They lose Haynes King early, go to a backup quarterback. So what's different? Reps, game experience, and then the big win against Alabama, as David just said, they take the field. After you beat Alabama in the SEC, there's not a game you play where you don't take the field expecting to win the game. So I think it's a combination of a lot of things, and they now have an identity. They're kind of an old-school defense, run the ball, Jim Tressel. That's back you know, this year to college teams football. Kind of team. yeah. That's how they do it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.